Yo, what's up guys? It's x -Rays. Welcome back to another episode of Elite Face-Off, a series where we take two elite weapons from any given weapon to compare them and find out which one is better, or just overall, which one's a better suited weapon for you. Now, today we're going to be covering the AE4 Elite variants that recently came out, the AE4 Gigawatt and the AE4 Shocker. We're going to compare the stats, what do those changes actually mean, and find out which one's a better suit for you. As always, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to slap a like and a favorite on the video. It does get the content out there, helps the channel grow, and it really is very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new and you enjoy these Elite Face-Offs, weapon comparisons, and a lot more content, then make sure to subscribe. But anyways, let's jump straight into it, guys. Let's learn a little bit more about the base AE4 first and find out a little bit more about its stats. Now the base AE4 obviously has a magazine size of infinite rounds, can overheat but it will never run out of ammo. The damage that the AE4 does is 34 up close, 30 at its medium and then 30 at its max distance. This means that the AE4 is a 3 to 4 shot kill weapon at all ranges. The AE4 has a rate of fire of 500 rounds per minute. This is really, really, really slow, guys, but it does do a lot of damage, which is pretty awesome. And then the recoil is low to medium. Some people might feel like it's a lot more to others. It really will be barely noticeable. Now, with that said, guys, let's go ahead and jump into our first one of these two elites, the AE4 Gigawatt. Now, looking at the card, guys, we can see that it has plus one damage. It has minus one range. It has minus two handling, and it has plus two mobility. What does that actually mean? Stat well, when we look at the stats, it means that the Gigawatt will have a damage profile of 34 up close, 34 at its medium distance, and 30 at its max. That's actually pretty sick. That means that its three shot kill range will be extended to a little bit less than what its second range will be only because it does take a hit towards that range but we'll talk about that in a little bit the shots to kill is going to be also a three to four shot kill the rate of fire will stay at 500 rounds per minute the second range as we were saying is going to be slightly decreased around 200 less than the base addition but that doesn't mean that your three shot range will be a lot further now the last couple of things is that the gigawatt has an ads time that's around 20 percent faster but it also does have a hip spread that's around 20% wider than the base edition of the AE4. So that was the Gigawatt, guys. Now let's move on over to the Shocker, which has pretty weird stats on it, and we'll talk about that. Starting off by looking at the card, we can see that the Shocker says it has negative two damage, it has negative one accuracy, but it has plus three fire rate. And you guys are probably wondering, damn, that must mean that it must be like at around 700 rounds per minute, right? Well, no, it's a little bit different. So let's talk about these stats here real quick. The Shocker has a damage profile of 34 up close. We learned that it had that extreme drop off in damage. It has 24 damage medium and 24 damage at a distance. This means that the AE4 Shocker is a three to five shot kill weapon. Now the fire rate is probably the big thing as they're wondering about, well, it has plus three fire rate. Well, that is actually different guys. All of the AE4s, when it comes to fire rate, it doesn't matter if they increase it or it says that it has plus three fire rate. It actually doesn't refer to that. It refers to how fast it overheats. The Shocker has the same rate of fire as the base edition at 500 rounds per minute. Just a little bit of a cock block, if you will. And obviously we talked about the overheating is a lot slower, so you can use it for a lot longer durations. And then the recoil is going to be 10% more recoil considering the fact that it has that stat change. So that was the stats, guys. It really is a bummer for the Shocker that it was going to have a faster rate of fire, but really it only doesn't overheat as fast as it normally does. That kind of sucks, guys, but that is the stats for both of these weapons. As you guys can see, let me know in the comment section down below which one of these two do you guys think is the better weapon, the AE4 Gigawatt or the AE4 Shocker? It really depends on your playstyle. Do you like it not overheating as quickly or do you prefer and having a little bit more damage let me know in the comments section down below thank you guys so much for watching in my personal opinion i think that the ae4 gigawatt is a much better ae4 it has an extended three shot kill range and it does more damage and honestly it's just a better weapon to use considering it has the same rate of fire as the shocker but anyways guys thank you so much for watching in the comment section below let me know what weapons you guys want me to compare next i'm thinking about doing the ak-12 for the next episode wednesday we will have guys a look at the other variants of the AE4 and I'm going to let you guys know which ones you can use as a great substitute or an alternative to the AE4 Gigawatt and Shocker. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. As always, if you did, make sure to slap a like and a favorite on the video. Gets the content out there. Helps the channel grow. Share the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, chances are someone else will too. And also, guys, if you're new and this is the first video you're watching and you enjoy content like this, elite face-offs, weapon comparisons, advanced warfare content galore, then make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss any future content. But until next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and make sure some out. Peace.